Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. There's a formal name for this stadium, but everyone knows it's the Big House. Michigan Stadium, the site. Coaches starting to work on their players, making sure that they're not overwhelmed by the magnitude of the game and the enormity of the stadium. Ann Arbor, the site for our showdown and kickoff not far away. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Michigan is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Brown fields it at the three. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. And the final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. Big hit, he stopped in his tracks. Almost six yards on the play action. The defense here let the halfback roam free for a second, and they were able to connect for a short gain on the play. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 45. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Larry, Larry. Mike 35, Mike 35. What's the word? Send the word. And they get nice yardage on that run. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Out to the receiver and it's knocked away. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception, so he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. Fires that quickly incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. What do you think they'll do? I don't know what they'll do, but I think they should just field goal. It's early in the game, so I'd take the safe three points. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Tackled for a loss, and they'll turn it over on downs. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. So here comes the taking the field for the first time today. Throw 
goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From their own 33 yard line, second down. sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Got it. And he goes down quickly. So the defense does their job well on that series. The defense decided to go conservative sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. They're coming after this punter. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Michigan's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at the 38. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on their own 38. out to his receiver and down he goes around the 41 yard line what a throw for a big game that is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch it's first and ten ball on the 41 they'll spread the field with five wide he's scrambling and he's going to be sacked. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive worst night. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled at the 34. That's a game of 10, 10 on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it third and three. three. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Caught out in the open. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 25-yard line, first down. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's gonna sit in that pocket himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they push him out right around the 20. That'll make it 35. Here's the eighth play of the series. Listen to this place. And he just gets rid of it. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Zips it to the tight end. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. That makes it first and goal. Tenth play of the drive. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Watch where you run, watch where you run. And he finds the nice. On the ground, inside. Brought down at the four-yard line. That brings him second and goal.
We've played one quarter. Still no score. We're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown, Cougars. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So an 11 play, 64 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Silva ready to kick. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's out of bounds right around the 34. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Gonna try and scramble. Slides down. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. Tackle at midfield. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. So that scamper by the halfback is good for a first down. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. Tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 44-yard line. He gets rid of this one. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some aren't pressed too much, and that can cause mistakes. Brigham Young is up by a touchdown. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down to the ground. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Five wide. There he goes. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. First down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Here he goes. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. He scrambles. Jones gains about five yards on the scramble out of the pocket. the catch and look out and they make the stop at about the 33 yard line first down. from the 33 yard line first down they give to the tailback and he makes it out to about the 31 yard line and they get stopped after a short game yeah the quarterback better get these guys to the line of scrimmage and hurry up Brigham Young is up a score. Zips it to the back. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Flips it middle to the running back. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Cox picks up around five yards with that catch. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. This is the ninth play of this drive. Mike 35, Mike 35. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Caught with room to work. And down he goes around the 11-yard line. They complete the slant, good for 10. The Cougars are going to call their second timeout. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They come out on an empty backfield. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and goal. Check three, check three, check three. He's out. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. That brings up a second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Heading for the corner. Touchdown, BYU! And he adds the extra point. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he has it on the corner. Across midfield. Knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. The Wolverines have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. If you can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line and get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He airs it out. The Wolverines use their second timeout.
kicks up, and they tack on three points. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 14-3, Cougars. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. You can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin and they better value that thing because yeah you give it away and bad things happen that's it for us here in the studio what are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on yeah i'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors we'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now time for the second half with brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll return it from the six. Gets to about the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Scrambling around. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He goes out of bounds at the 27. That's good to have a lot of yards. Third down. Six man. Check girls, check girls, check girls. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And he hits him hard at the 35 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's on the run. Decides to slide. Dennis gets about four yards on the play. Field, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. They'll line it up again on third down. Black five, black five. Check, check. Answer, Looking for the corner. Gets out to around the 45. Converts the extra point. Oh, 
Michigan kicks this one off. Brown fields at the goal line. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Brigham Young is up by four. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, second down. They run it left. Knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Gets to about the 37 yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He makes his way to about the 45. That's a game on the play. That'll bring up third and two. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Down at the 43 yard line. From the 43 yard line, it's first down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That makes it second and eight. Brigham Young holds a four-point lead. Complete. He's got room. Tackle at the 36. Thornton makes the tackle at the 36-yard line. Third down. So we're looking at another third down here. Gets out to around the 28. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Mike Mark, Mark, Steven, Steven. Caught, and he's hit immediately. So at the end of the third quarter, the Cougars in front, 14-10. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's taken down at the 12 yard line. That makes it first and 10. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. 
Brigham Young is up four. He makes it to the nine. Ball inside the 10 yard line. Second down. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Play 13 of the current drive. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's going to try and scramble. Good tackle there in space. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's taken down at the 38. He steps out at about the 41. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 41. Just under three to go in regulation. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and four. the stop around the 33 yard line from the 33 yard line first down He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30, and he's level at the 23-yard line. the 23 yard line first down he scrambled slides down a five yard quarterback scramble we're at play number nine of this current drive a little over a minute in the game. Green nine, green. Quick strike and he drops it. Maybe it was the intended receiver on the play. 
And here's another third down. Uh, at this stage in the game, the number one rule has to be to hold on to the football. A score here might effectively end this one. ground with the tailback runs outside for a nice game brown gains around six yards on the run michigan's going to take their first time out of the half so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first tackle made at the 19 yard line the running back gets two on the carry you're not going to be able to get by a short tackler like this linebacker too often The crowd really making it difficult. Have some daylight. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Brigham Young, up seven points. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a game of five in there. That makes it 37. The Wolverines, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star players. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.